you have like a hotel around here or anything? I don't. I was actually thinking of just camping for the night, but I wasn't really sure exactly yet. In late September, 32-year-old Chelsea Grimm left her San Diego home on a cross-country road trip to Connecticut for a family wedding, but she never arrived. Chelsea's family reported her missing on October 4th. The following day, hunters found her car abandoned in Arizona's Kaibab National Forest. Her bearded dragon, Roxy, was also missing. Authorities are now reconstructing her road trip, looking for any trace of her and Roxy. According to body cam footage, Chelsea Grimm spoke with a police officer in Williams, Arizona on September 28th. The officer was responding to a report of suspicious activity in a nearby cemetery. He encountered Grimm, who explained she had been working on a photography project. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? I'm okay, how are you? I'm doing great. Are you doing all right? Yeah, I just was doing a photo shoot of the lost soldiers. I got a little oh, emotional, so I'm I was so... crying before okay. I got back on the road. Yeah, okay. I'm just making sure someone called it in, so... Was... Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, you're quite all right. I mean, it's... I was just doing a photo shoot, yeah. Um, packed up, I'm going to leave soon. Okay. But I just didn't want to drive like that. I'm sad. I got you. Well, do you have your license on anybody by any chance? Yeah. gets me all emotional too. Yeah, it's just, you know, um, I'm trying to do a series on the lost and the forgotten people of this country. Yeah, no, I get it. All right, I just wanted to let you know um, your registration is expired. I see, really? Yeah, September of 23. So oh, it, it just, it was September 9th. So no oh, big deal. Okay. I just wanted to let you know, bring it to your attention. Okay. Uh, here's your driver's license Thank back. You. Um, you're kind of Obviously, I would be in an emotional state as well. I don't know if you want somebody else to drive you or if you just want to um, hang out here for a little bit longer. You're more than welcome to do that. Yeah, if it's okay with you, to, yeah. if I hang out here for another like 15 or 20 and then head on the road, that would be my plan, sure. I think. Yeah, I don't see any signs of impairment or anything like that. So. Yeah, no, I that's I just, I mean, with my with my eyesight and then crying, it's not the best combination at night. Yeah, I, I, totally <laughs> I was understand. like, I'm just going to like cry on the road or I'm just going to sit here and cry. So I... I got you. I'm a dragon, and I'm just. Oh, like, that's freaking cool! I didn't even notice that. Thanks, Rosie. Wow, Rosie, I that's. Think she's asleep. Wow, right on. She got bored. Yeah. Uh, do you have like a hotel around here or anything? I don't. I was actually thinking of just camping for the night, but I wasn't really sure exactly yet. Gotcha. Well, I didn't you... plan to be here till sunset. Okay. You can't camp in the city limits. It's kind of like a city statute we have. Okay, good. But job. you can always go. I don't know if you can see like the the yellow lights up there, the loves. It's a trucker stop in, okay. in the gas station area. You can just sleep there. Nobody, oh, will, nobody will bother you. Awesome. Yeah. Love that. Yes. You get some good shots at sunrise, too, there. Oh, right on. Yeah. Yeah. The okay. sunrise here, too. Uh, if you ever want to take photo shoots of, like, the statues in the morning, dude, it's, it's really cool because the sun, like, rises right behind them. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll probably stay at the truck stop then, save some money, and then Boom. come over for the sunrise. You got it. Cool. All right. Well, well you have a great time. I'm Blake. Thanks, Blake. You got it. Appreciate your compassion. You got it. Um, so yeah, just, just hang out here however long you want. Um, you're good to go. Awesome. Grimm was reportedly seen two days later by a woodcutter near Ash Fork, Arizona. According to the police, the man saw Grimm camping in her car, asked if she was okay, and she replied that she was fine. It was the last known sighting of Chelsea Grimm. The Coconino County Sheriff's Office says that they don't suspect foul play at this point, but they are still investigating the case. Anyone with information is urged to contact the Sheriff's Office.